Hi, welcome again to ITAuthority.tv. This is the first video in a series of 10 on how to increase the speed of your computer. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the others. This video will deal with system memory, otherwise known as RAM, otherwise known as random access memory, and we're going to explain what that means, what, it, what role it plays, and why it's the most significant of the 10. Okay, so in order to demonstrate how a computer works, I've snuck off to one of our offices and uh, I've basically commandeered it. I've got so much gear in here you wouldn't believe. Anyway, the point is, uh, I'm gonna explain what role the RAM plays in the computer in this demonstration. I'm going to represent the computer here. This tabletop, just here, which through the magic of video is gonna feel a lot smaller in a moment, is the system memory. This filing cabinet is the file structure or the hard disk. And in here, in the filing cabinet, I've placed some files. And for the purpose of it's file number four, Monty. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm, sorry, I am the CPU the central processing unit. So what happens in a computer, they don't think this is your desktop, it's not, it's the RAM, okay? This is the RAM, this is the hard disk, I'm the, I'm the processing unit. So what happens is, you ask for a file. So the processing unit goes to the hard drive and it pulls out the file that you want, in this case, file number six, and it places it in the memory like so. We're already almost completely full because this is quite a big file as you can see. So now, if I want to go back to the hard disk and pull out another file, I haven't quite got enough room to place it there. So what I do is I put this file, file six, I put this back in here so I can place file four there, which is a much smaller file. Now you're, you're wanting to work on file six again, I've actually got to say, well, file six won't quite fit, so I'm gonna have to take away file four, put that back in the hard disk, and load file six into memory so that you can work on it. Now, once again, through the magic of video, we've expanded the RAM by increasing the memory. So file six, which is still quite a big file, fits quite handily. So when you want file four, I just need to go to the hard disk and get file four for you and place it there. And you can now work on file six and file four without any problems. So I don't have to keep getting involved and slowing things down. That's why more RAM in your system makes it easier. The system RAM is where we temporarily load the files into memory, just here. We can then work on them in memory. I can even go to the file, uh, the hard disk and get file five and place that quite happily there. And we can now work on more files at once without slowing, without having to go through the process of going back. Of course, if I need even more files and I go to get file three, which is another great big file, once again, I've hit that little problem. Just a, They just about fit, so this one, no, this one isn't actually going to fit. So what I'm gonna to have to do is take away file five and place that back in the hard disk. Now that is the sound that you hear on the computer, that little click, 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 click sound that you hear the hard disk and then the little light on the hard disk light, if you can see it, it's always flashing off and on. It's because you don't have enough, enough memory. The more memory you've got, the less time we have to go to the hard disk, the less time it takes to keep going and finding files and putting them back. And that's why having more RAM is one of the quickest ways to increase the speed of your computer. This is true of both Mac and PC, of course. How do you find the right memory for your computer? Well, I'm going to stick a link on, the, on this video that will take you to our website which will give you the tool you need to scan your machine and quickly tell you what memory you need. More RAM, less trips to the hard disk, quicker system. I hope you found this uh, useful. 
This is video number one. Video number two will follow on shortly. For now, all that's left for me to say is thanks for taking the time to watch.